All right guys, how's it going? So today I wanna to show how to set up the uh, horsepower chart. So basically it's gonna take two parameter IDs and multiply them together and then do some other math. So it's gonna take the uh, RPM parameter ID and the uh, delivered engine torque. It's gonna to multiply those together and then do some division. And then I'm also gonna show a calculation to uh, basically represent a 20% powertrain loss. So that should be close to accurate representation of uh, actual wheel horsepower. So I'll take you through the math on that and just to be clear ahead of time this probably isn't going to be an exact rear wheel horsepower number. Uh, what I'm looking for here is for it to be a representation of the changes that you're actually making to the tune. So for example if you had a uh, 10 horsepower rear wheel gain uh, would it be a 10 horsepower gain on that number? That's what I'm looking for. So you can kind of see uh, a reflection of what your changes are actually doing. I don't really have a dyno. I'd love to actually test it. So maybe if somebody could use the formula that has access to a dyno, uh, that'd be kind of cool and see what works and what doesn't work about it. And if it would be an accurate, accurate representation of the changes that you're making. So that'd be kind of cool. Uh, if anybody has a dyno, let me know, show it. I would, but I'm not going to spend a hundred dollars to uh, go test this thing. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to want to do to set up this um, horsepower calculation, we're going to need to make sure that engine RPM and uh, delivered engine torque are in the channels here before we try to do anything over on this side. So we'll go to add a channel. I already have engine RPM on there. So we'll add a channel and we're going to go to, I'm just going to type in delivered because there's a delivered trans torque and a delivered engine torque. We're gonna to wanna to use the delivered engine torque. So we'll add that to our channels. Uh, now that we have both of them added, delivered engine torque and engine RPM, we're gonna go over to tools right here, math parameters, We'll go to user math one, and then we're gonna set up our calculation in here. So I'm just gonna change the name, horsepower, we'll do an abbreviation HP, and notes, we'll put in uh, horsepower calculation, something like that, sure. So then, uh, we need to create the formula down in this section. So this formula, you're going to basically be adding the uh, parameter IDs in here uh, with some other numbers. So we'll go through and, and do that now. So the first variable we're going to add is, we'll just do the engine RPM. Then go to engine, I think it's under general, engine RPM. Add that, I'm gonna click no. Make sure it's under RPM, no special function, click okay. So now this 12.56, it added this uh, parameter ID in there. So we're also gonna need to add the uh, delivered engine torque. So we'll do the same process. Go to insert. I'm just going to search for it again. Delivered engine torque. Add that in there. Make sure it's in foot pounds. No special function. Click OK. So now that we have these two parameter IDs in here, we're going to build the formula. So we're going to go right here. We want to multiply these two together. So we'll add this for multiplication. We're going to multiply these two together. So next, when you take your engine RPM multiplied by the torque, you're going to divide that by um, 5252. So we'll add the uh, parenthesis there, and I'll show you why in a minute. Divided by 5252. So then we'll add the other parenthesis on this side. 
So now we have this as one formula here, divided by 5252. But we're going to take this one step farther now. So this calculation right here would give us horsepower. So in order to get to the rear wheel horsepower, we need to add another calculation here. So we'll put a parenthesis here, parenthesis on this side, and then we are going to multiply by 0.80. So now basically what this is doing is uh, calculating for an approximate 20% powertrain loss. So basically like through the transmission and everything, we're calculating an approximate 20% loss there. So this should give us approximate rear wheel horsepower. So now that that's in there, I'm going to save this math parameter. Save it as, we'll call it horsepower. And then we can close this. All right, so now that that's done, we can go over to the chart. We'll add the chart layout. Let's go here and um, add a series. And this is where we're gonna go in and select our math parameter. So now we can go down to Maths, User Defined, and we'll click on the Horsepower. Leave the unit in HP for Horsepower, or Happy People, whatever you want to call it. So I'm actually going to change this color quick. Because I don't really have to, but so we'll make it. We'll make it blue, or we won't make it anything. What the hell? All right, there we go. What is going on? Oh, okay. Derp. Close this. All right, so now if this worked properly, uh, this should start calculating horsepower uh, when I turn the vehicle on. I'll turn the key on, start logging, so you see down here we have the delivered engine torque and that will change as I rev. Now I'll put it into gear. You can see the horse uh, torque's a little bit more consistent now, and I'll give it some gas. You can see the horsepower actually changing. So that should work. That's about it. of that run here it ended up getting up to uh, 259 calculated so here's when I started to do that poll and then it was kind of hard to see in the camera because it was pretty shaky but um, I think in the video you could see it get up to like 120 which is right in this range here and then it I think it downshifted and then got a little bit more power so that's when you start to lose the view on the camera but we got it up to like a 261 262 and then uh, a little bit later, we didn't see on the video, I just kind of accelerated a little bit a little bit slower over here. The green line is my actual speed, and the red line is RPM. So this one got up to about 123 by 30 miles an hour. So it was just a little run. I wanted to see if this is actually working. It seems like it is. Um, I'm not sure how accurate it is because it's just doing a calculation. Um, but maybe it's a little bit close. Okay, so that's about it. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video if you feel like it.
and stay tuned. I should be working on the turbo build coming up pretty soon. No, really.